Live. What's up, witches? Starting a little bit early because we got to get through this. We have a giant hall, and we are going to be um, doling out the hits, doling out the goods, any. So um, we're super excited, and um, for anybody who's watching this back later, we just want to say, hey y'all, welcome, because we know there's um, lots of people who watch these afterwards, and uh, if you make we sure- We love you. We love you, and uh, if you make sure to watch our Facebook page, uh, Sable and Blonde YouTube, okay? If you watch us, uh, watch that page, we will always post if we are going to be going mm -hmm. live. And don't forget about our Instagram. Don't forget about Instagram. We post it there. And we also will try to post a little uh, heads up video here too. So um, we always uh, are happy to see our friends here live. Um, and we will have about 10 minutes here before we get started um, showing the haul right at 1. So you know we got just, stuff to do we do we got we are going to be filming our entire cache of february's videos oh, it's a lot. in uh in the in the rest of this afternoon so we're, we're gonna after this is over we've got a video uh for part two of um our matriarchy series yes honey and what else are we gonna do Oh boy. Um, we did a planning video for you all for the month of February. Yeah. Um, February is going to be kind of a. Yeah. Month. It's going to be it's a, a, a less exciting month. Compared to January, but. But still, I mean, there's still some good stuff going on, so, you know. Um, and then as far as other videos go, we've still got a couple that we filmed back in December that we haven't posted mm -hmm. yet. For a Rhiannon offering oil. Actually, we've still got videos from vacation. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff that we haven't posted just because yeah. it's they're more difficult to edit and time is Money. not our friend and but um It's not on our side. It's not. But um we uh I, I don't know how everybody feels about um the energy of this past month in January. A lot of really good things have happened I this month. Like, I feel like there's been a lot of revolution that's happened. There has, and there's a lot of uh, things gearing up to get started. Um, you know, I've personally had some really cool things happen to me in January. Um, me and Brittany, you know, we haven't got to do as much of our adventuring, though, as we like to it's normally. It's been blasted cold. Yeah, it's been really cold and snowy, uh, as per usual. What did you say earlier? Water is wet. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, who do we have? New Dawn. Hey, Rosa. Hey. Um, so we, uh, we have a lot of stuff planned for the month of February. Mm -hmm. We have decided to move over. Um, instead of putting the witchy room in the extra room in the house, we're actually going to put the witchy room into my old bedroom and so we um, well we know who picked that out yeah we actually uh you know kind of got the idea for it yesterday and we started um we asked the runes we asked the goddesses to speak to us through the runes you know we pulled two runes for each room and uh we the, both pulled two rooms for each room, and the answer was, we want the pretty room. <laughs> so they did not want the room that we had originally planned. So. And I think that might be because there's such negative energy in there. Yeah. We'll definitely have to cleanse that. It will, get in there. for sure. But Because um, that's like a nightmare room, and it yeah. was a nightmare room. It was. So uh, that'll be fun. But um, So we're going to start doing that. We're going to be painting, putting some... Uh, you know, moving some furniture around, and it's mm -hmm. it's going to be a, a blast. Big pain in the tukas. in the abundance jar, but you know we're happy to do it. So we're All excited. Love the Ooh, who this is? Oh, what color are we going to paint, Rosa? We um, so my bedroom is already like uh, a peach color. It's like the color of the inside of uh, a conch shell or a clam. 
and I kind of like that color. Yeah. Me. And it's so it's a more vibrant one though. Yeah. And Ooh, so we sparkles. we are gonna paint the back, uh, like the back wall, yeah. like a pretty blue gray color, maybe kind of like that, maybe a little darker. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, we're gonna do that, and um, we're gonna move shelves, mm -hmm. and we're gonna move herbs. All the herbs are going. Oils and witch paraphernalia. Yeah, it's all going back there. All the books, uh, all the altars, all the incriminating evidence. <sighs> right. So um, we're excited though. So we're gonna we're gonna try. We got a lot of stuff we're gonna donate and get rid of. Ooh, I know, right? We will do a tour, and that will actually go well with the carpet. If you use that blue gray. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. Yeah. So we're we're very excited to um, mm -hmm. to get that started. And we've kind of been hoarding up stuff for their um, yeah ultra to, mega altars. Yeah, to extend the altars. So we've got all this new stuff. You know that we've been buying. Goddesses have been going shopping. Yeah, so we've got even more new stuff down here that we're going to be showing you all today. Is it time to get started? By the way, four minutes shy. All right, we got four minutes. We'll even give them an extra minute, okay? So uh, yeah, we're excited. It's going to be a, a big day or a big month for us, like work-wise, anyway. Um, but. Uh, oh. There's uh, there's some cool conventions going on like uh, witchy conventions around here, mm -hmm. uh, and there's going to be some um, workshops and stuff like that we're thinking about going to. Yeah. So we might do that. And hopefully, if it warms up, we can start you know taking a peek at some mm -hmm. quote unquote weeds. Right, planting, doing some seed work. Looking at some of the early plants that come up because mm -hmm. I kind of had the idea that if we can figure out if my phone will cooperate, which who knows about that, uh, I would like to um, go around and show like three plants and give like three uses for the plants and mm -hmm. their magical use and what they are. Because mm -hmm. believe it or not, there's a lot of stuff that comes up at this time of year and blooms. Right. So you got to be ready for them because. Uh... Especially things that bloom early and bloom in the spring. Once they spring up, that's it. They're gone. So, so like the only time of the year that you can get dead nettle is in the spring. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think we didn't get a chance to use a lot of our dead nettle last year, but unfortunately, you know, you know at least we. <laughs> it stinks. It does. It smells like death. This is where it got its name from, right? Apparently, people eat it. I don't know why. Uh yeah, it's a bitter. You can use it for like digestion and stuff. Oh. I Not think me, I think I'm kind of allergic to the pollen, or maybe it's the mold that gets on it. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Don't know, darling. Don't know. So yeah. And also, things that come up this time of year, definitely, if they're not like a garden perennial or something like that, they will have tiny, tiny little blooms, and you'll miss them. Mm -hmm. That's true. So it's almost time to you know hit the yard and get out. I and, can't wait. Mm -hmm. You know. Same. Just so long as it stays warm. Yep, and it's uh, it's definitely going to be a good time too to start going out and creating fairy altars mm -hmm. to welcome the fae back to our world because uh, um, you know they've been kind of hiding and hibernating and like you know. any logical creature. Right, so they'll be returning soon. So uh, we all last year was the first time we did it, but we made an outdoor fairy altar. With stuff that we found and mm -hmm. it was really fun we made like really tiny little altars and um it was cool it was gave them little fun. offering bowls with like little flowers and stuff mm -hmm. in it it was cute it was cute so we're definitely going to do that again and hopefully it warms up um is everybody excited for in bulk it's coming soon I'm getting um, bridge at a uh, flamethrower. Me too. I'm ready for her to light that flame, honey. I also want to create a fairy garden maybe this year on the porch. Please share. We will. We're gonna share. We're gonna do a video about yeah. the fairy altars. But I think uh, Rosa, I think you would make a beautiful fairy altar. Just you know, after seeing you know the 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 altars and stuff that you create, I know. Yeah. That you'd make something. It gorgeous. would be like. Very yeah. magical. So um, something they would like, of course. Yeah, 
And I think uh, we're, we'll definitely do a video on that. And uh, we're going to for sure, um, uh, just so that everybody gets another heads up, uh, we are going to try uh, to do a... Um, um, well, thank you, Rasta. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to try to do a live in bulk ritual. Weather permitting. Right. Um, we'll, we might do it either way. We're just going to have to see. We're supposed to get a lot of snow on Friday. So, um, and that's the calendar date for in bulk. Hello. Hey, freaky unicorn. What's up? Witches. <laughs> <laughs> you so, see that? Um, so for sure we are going to, uh, uh, do something on in bulk, um, live if we can. We um, also found something where we can, you know, light candles in place of the sacred bonfire mm -hmm. flame. You just do a candle ritual. I mean, it's a can, it's candle must anyway. So, you know, people use candles, yeah. but like, you know, there was a really cute little ritual that we, you know, saw that we might want to try. Right. Um, it's kind of like a modification on like the typical one that people do. And, uh, we are going to, we're going to try to go live. If we get the snow that they say we're going to get, we may not be in the same house when that happens. So we don't know, but if, it, mm -hmm. if uh, we're going to be sending prayers to goddess, please send us the heat because we have a we've been collecting lots of plant like uh herbs and plants yeah. that we need to get rid of and uh that are paper dead, product you know uh paper and wood and things like that uh, that we're going to burn and do a bonfire and we wanted to do yep. a live bonfire with you guys so that you could share it with us and you um, could see what a pyromaniac i am yeah so um, i love fire we we hope that the weather permits that so if you guys would like to see that, definitely send up a little something, something to the to, to the the girls in the clouds, cause um, or under the ground. Uh, because yes, we're talking about you, Persephone. Get up here. <laughs> because um, <laughs> uh, we we definitely need the help to get the snow to not hit us, because nobody. You know, I don't know how to express mail a flamethrower to Bridget, but. I'm going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. She needs some. Uh, she needs some Dura Flame or something for that uh, sacred flame. Cause. Wow. Yeah, I need to help her build the sacred flame. <laughs> oh, that would be a disaster. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I guess it's probably about time. Yep, three minutes over. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on the haul. Um, so we've got a lot to get through so we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and show you guys some goodies so what do you want to start with um i don't know just grab some stuff oh god know, and there's lots and again all of this is thrifted or was very thrifty priced because we don't spend that much money we don't don't let it fool you and we we're not featuring some of the books that we got, but yeah, we forgot. Like um, Brittany yeah. got a lot of goddess, like a and, stack of uh, books that was just waiting like for me. Goddess and feminism type of stuff, and homosexual books. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are will definitely be in videos in the future. Come off of it. Okay. All right, you show them the fairy wart. So this first little thing we got. Cool. I wish I could. We could find a mortar and pestle at you know the goodwill. I know, right? Actually, I think that's where I got mine. <laughs> oh, really? That great big one. Uh huh. Um. So we got this. It's like a little candle holder luminary with a little fairy on it, which I know uh, she's kind of generic fairy, but um, I was thinking about maybe like um putting some, you know fabric or something on here just to kind of make her you know a little bit more um detailed maybe a little less basic um but let's face it she's basic as cable and uh i think that would be really fun to kind of do something neat with her um you could we could probably make a fairy altar with that we could or, you know yeah put something in there for them to play with right so you know this is 
this was super cheap uh, at the th- at the flea market thrift store. Blah, 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 the mini mall. Right. This was like a dollar, I think. Um, but it's metal. If you can't tell. Yeah, Pixie. Pixie. That's our girl. How are you, Pixie? The next, we found this. And I don't know if you guys have seen this before. If you have, if you used to get those uh, LTD Trader. Catalogs, oh yeah, that's exactly where you know that's how they from. They had all the like celestial goddessy kind of stuff back in the nineties. Well, honey, I remember this vividly from there because you wanted it. I always wanted everything from those catalogs, and this is just a little hangy plaque. We're probably I might put it in my new bedroom. Uh, set up and rather than the new altar setup, but um, it's just a little uh, solar eclipse looking kind of something something The um, sun is mansplaining to the moon and she's not having it um, So that's that and this was also super cheap. I think this was like <laughs> two bucks So two bucks two pounds two bucks on too sick All right now Okay, now Ooh, what's let's, next? let's have her Okay, so now this you're probably gonna look at this and you're gonna be like in, please but listen to me it says friend on it listen to me i know she she's pretty you know? i think she's pretty okay you know she kind of looks like you know you know those ladies who you know buy the like overpriced stuff from hallmark you know that's where she came from i'm pretty sure foundations by oh look at Enzico. that go friends uh, amongst friends are the most special so the reason that I got her is I thought she was such a beautiful depiction of like maiden goddess. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to have her around for in bulk. And I'm going to take this little ribbon that says friendship off. And, and put a pentacle on it? <laughs> no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some other like I uh, love her. long ribbons that hang. I don't like the texture that she is, but I like her. I don't her. either. And I'm thinking about painting her. I'm not sure. I yet. definitely think you should paint her. I I definitely get Celtic vibes from I'm that. I'm gonna give her a light green dress, maybe some reddish blonde hair. Okay, so um, we're thinking about doing something like that with her, because you know a lot of our statues don't really have um, maiden vibes to them. So I thought this, just, you know, we can add stuff to it, you know. I'm not definitely not going to leave her the way she is. But, yeah. Um, she was probably the most pricey thing that I got out of all of that stuff. All right, now let's see. Oh. Ooh, okay. So for our new extensive uh, Artemis we'll slash um, uh, Brita Martis altar that we're going to be erecting. Because they can't be apart. Um, we've got two lions. Um, so, you know, goddess is definitely associated with, uh, two lions at her feet. Um, so we, it's okay. Um, we are, we got this one. She's carved out of wood or he's carved out of wood. Oh, she might be a lioness. You can't really tell. Well, you know, there are butch lionesses that, you know, grow manes and roar. That's so. interesting. Yeah. So there she is. And of course I'd know that. Was 245. That was the one that Artemis picked out. Uh... Or at least really, I think she I think did. it's just hand carved. I don't know. There's no like. And then thing there's on it. this that. Which is really cute. The extra one. It's so cute. It's actually got a little bird on its tail, but her little beak's broken. I think we could oh, use Sculpey and fix that. Don't we, we could. And then she's got the little hole yeah. up here. You could put a chime candle in. I know that's right. Don't mess with lioness. And then she's got a hole in her mouth. I thought that might be kind of cool to put an incense stick in. Okay, I don't know, but um, yeah, she's super cute. So we got those two, so we'll maybe put them at the feet of a goddess statue. I love them. Maybe. All right, and before we get on to our, ooh, yeah, we've got another nice little thing, which was called, quote unquote, Circle of Friends. Circle of Friends. So it's this little primitive uh, group of ladies who are holding each other and in the middle is a little dish um, which you could put a candle in or use for an offering dish uh, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what um, culture it references but you yeah, know it was made in Indonesia but 
So to us, it's it, very Paleolithic. Yeah. So you know, definitely Ugh. like goddess culture, you have dirty hands, vibes, and things like that. So I love them. We just thought they were so pretty, and it's such a pretty blue color. Somebody so, likes blue. You know, it's going to be very cool to see that on an altar. All right. I know, right? Isn't that the coolest? And you know what's weird? Uh, right next to uh, the booth where I found that one, there was um, like maybe like two little sections down. There was somebody else had the exact same thing, but it was larger. And there was one less lady in the circle. And it was brown. And it was like, that one was uh, $6. The, the other one was like 27 I was like, oh, hell no. No. And then we have this. So I just thought this might be a cute little altar, something or other piece to add some crystals, maybe some little statuary. Oh, no, look here. Because you know I like uh, levels on uh, altars. You know, I don't like everything to be yeah. kind of flat. And so this would be a good way to raise some things up. You know, and I could, I could maybe put pictures back in here. Um, oh, yeah. Or we could, you know, paint that. You know, you could put stuff on the top. I know. I love tiny little cabinets and tiny little shelves. And it is broken. Like, they, they were trying to be cute and, like, put the price tag on the back with tape. They ain't that slick. But this piece, the, the back panel falls off. I'm so just a little wood glue will fix that. We just, we just got to Jimmy rig it, see? But, We're always uh, Jimmy rigging stuff. Yeah, we don't mind it. We don't mind it at all. But um, this wasn't super cheap either. This was five forty nine, so it wasn't the cheapest thing we've ever experienced. But um, you know. Anyway, there's that. Ah, uh, here is this, and I think that it's a perfect oh, yeah. little triple goddess statue. We might have to do some tinkering with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna we're paint right. this. We're gonna take the picture out. We're gonna redo this. It's, it's another fixed. tiny shelf. <laughs> Pixie, where you at? Hey, Rhonda. Look at that. You get the angel of the Nile out of there. Yeah, the, the angel with the kids. Everybody's seen that picture, right? Well, but, that is prolific. Sorry, everybody. We're back. Where does it say you lost us? Yes, but we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're sorry, guys. Anytime anybody like messages or texts or anything like that, it, it knocks will, it off. It throws it out. I don't know why. So hopefully everybody will be back in just a second. We'll give everybody a few minutes here, so just a few seconds. So um. Oh, well, that's actually cute. Shellhead over here. Um. Are you saying I'm Tony Stark? I am. So, okay, so I think everybody's back now. Peekaboo, we see you. So, here's our uh, moon shelf, you know. And so, we're going to maybe put a picture of some triple goddess or moon goddess of some sort in here. You know, out of the many that we associate with. <laughs> and uh, you can put some little crystals up here next to her. We can put... You know, some stuff down here. You can even burn a candle in front of her down here. You can add something up mm -hmm. here to make come up, maybe. Glue some things to it. But this was definitely cheap. It was like three bucks. So, somebody, you can tell somebody that, like, made this themselves. Because uh, it's kind of janky. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this isn't Moonstone. This is... Um, it is a agate druzy, druzy agate. But thank you. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna have that for our new altar room, and we're super excited. We're like chilly excited. Yeah. Oh my god! And then, as if we don't have enough of these. So we found another abalone shell. Um, this I think was like a dollar. This is a really big one. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's a very big one. It doesn't have the little rubber feet on the bottom, and the holes aren't sealed. But I mean, look. 
You know, like Brittany can wear it as a hat. I can wear it as a mask. Like it's. I could, it would probably cover my entire face. Aren't you all excited that mm-hmm. it covers? Look here, it does. Yes, we're so excited. Like, come on now. Perhaps it's better like this. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. Um, but yeah, I am wearing a moonstone, just not that one. That's my moonstone right there. Looks like it's had that uh, shell eating mm-hmm. sponge Gosh. on it. With its sponge spine and its sponge neck. That's a sponge neck and sponge spine. All right. All right, what's next? I think we should go with these. I think we should go supreme with the donuts. Mm-hmm. These are probably the only kind of donuts that I could ever eat ever again. Oh, God. Oh. It smells so good. We found somebody cut down a cedar tree. Mm-hmm. Why would they want to? I don't know. Maybe it naturally fell down, no. but um, it is little cedar slices, and we thought uh, we could either wood burn. Oh, some this one's got a little crescent moon in it. It's we mine. could wood burn some sigils on here, or we could paint them, or just leave them the way they are and use them to like raise up things on altars. But they smell so. Oh, they're intoxicating. Mm. Three bags. Three bags. Oh, I sucked a. The splinter in my nose. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Still has the blood cycles, I know. So we got how many bags? Three. Three bags. Each one has one, two, three, four, five pieces in it. They were a dollar a bag. So I bought every bag that they had because I was just like, really? No way. I, I can't let these go to waste. I love, uh, I have always loved the way cedar smells. Me too. So. I just thought that was neat, you know. Um, I, we like to incorporate as much natural stuff into altars as possible. You know, I also felt kind of sad or, or upset that, you know, this tree lost its life for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. So I just thought it was nice to honor the tree and, um, you know, kind of put her a, a place in the sacred space. Find your place in the sacred space. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we found a what do they call it? Sloughed off? Yeah, or naturally shed. Natu- oh, there you go. Naturally shed deer antler. He was not expensive at all. And he wasn't um, a very big boy either. Mm-mm. So it's super cute. He was a baby. It's very, like, I don't know. It feels very uh, wand. wand-esque. So we might make Watch a, where you're pointing that. We might make a wand out of it. Um, and we have to give a caution. Okay, so... Trigger warning. Trigger uh, to anybody who is... Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Squeamish. Squeamish to animal parts or to skulls. Um, this is... Um, a skull. <laughs> so um, here's your uh, three-second warning to... Tune out and uh, come back later. So, um, really, here we have a deer skull. Are you ready? Okay. Beautiful deer skull. Turn them around, show the teeth, the toothers. Yeah, okay. He had some horns. I have been looking at deer skulls in these places forever. Like, forever. And they're always like, 25 30 35 36 you know 40 bucks this one like it's obviously natural there there's moss growing on him he smells good i think and uh i guess i better keep so you know here. you know it's naturally shed you know i think yeah. so, this person found this along with these which they had more of these but i only got one i think i paid three for this and nine for this whole skull I was like so excited like I've always wanted a deer skull so I can't decide if we're if uh, if we feel like it has the Artemis energy to put it on an altar or if we want to just stick it in here somewhere but um, I'm sure will like it either way I just think it's it's beautiful Look at and those teeth. Uh, I was super excited like I thought oh he's lost too. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna find anything 
in that flea market. And then uh, I found that. And then right after I found that, I found all of this other stuff. Just like instant. I was like, oh my gosh, okay. You know, this is the time of year you look for stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or a little bit later. But in the winter, they so, start dying off. The bucks do. Yeah. So we were super excited about that. So uh, trigger warning over. The deer is going bye-bye. Well, it already went bye-bye. Right. All right. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Now what shall we go for? Um, I'll go to the other thrift stuff. So this is from another thrift store. Unique. Wow. And um, we've got some awesome stuff from there. Also very cheap. We really didn't spend a lot of money there. Yeah, we really didn't. Like, there wasn't a whole lot there. And we did go to that peddler's mall, which was, ooh, baby, yeah. hell is a place on earth. Yeah, it was pretty tragic. Like, we left. But, uh, which, I don't know, I know y'all don't know what a peddler's mall is, but it's like mm -hmm. a vendor's mall. It's like, like a, fran a mini franchise, uh, sort of. Um, just a flea market, basically. But, um, so the first thing we got was this little plaque. Which has bees on it. And bees are associated with... Artemis and Brutamartus. And goddesses in general. So uh, we were very excited to see this. We might paint it because I'm not a huge fan of like yeah. just solid white thingies like this. Even though I have a lot of my altars. But, um, it just doesn't... You know, I, I like color. You know, I like colorful altars. So... We might just do some washing of color on here, but this uh, is from Hen Feathers Accents for Home and Garden, King of Persia, Pennsylvania. And uh, that's not well. I can't say anything because we know what Kentucky cities are named. Uh, but uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a dollar forty nine. So we definitely, descended upon that like a terrible. Yeah, we're like, are those bees? Dun, dun, bees. Dun, 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 dun. And then okay. this. So, yeah, we got us a new little oil burner. These are everywhere. I know this isn't anything special. Uh, but the reason that I liked this one is because it had a, a pretty big opening that we could put a, a like maybe a votive candle in. Because the one that I have now has um, its opening is like more the size for a tea light. And the oil doesn't get warm enough. And this, this is kind of shallow, so yeah, and that's you... not the best one, but... You know, we had to grab it when we found it. So, I mean, and you can't is... beat two ninety nine for that. Yeah. Be used with tea light candles only, it says. We'll see about that. <laughs> That's what I said. So, it's green. I've been trying to green up my altars. Because um, a lot of my altars are kind of like white. And light colors, you know, and you know, being with yeah. Rhiannon and stuff. But you know, she's very much into the green and the the dark colors and stuff. So that's what I want to infuse for spring and for uh, what's it uh, summer? You know, maiden and mother phases. We want to get some pretty colors going. Oh, there you go. That almost works. Right, here's your. Oh my. I cut them open so you can get them out. Okay, so we found these in a, in a bag together. Yeah, the bag section. Oh, and then I remember my dish that had Artemis and Apollo on it. Where, oh yeah. Um, so this was two ninety nine, And any of my magical girls out there will know uh, when you find a unicorn, you just kind of got to buy it. Especially if it's a pretty unicorn. It's not so hokey with like rainbows and hearts and stuff like that. So look at this one. Normally the rainbow wouldn't be a bad thing. Isn't she pretty? So I'm definitely going to put her on Rhiannon altar. I try just red solid white things, but solid white horses is definitely okay with me. But isn't it pretty? I like it. I like her little goatee. I like her face. I like her horn. She's, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the white horse that's on my uh, Rhiannon altar. Uh, I've thought about this once we got home. It's the exact same unicorn, yeah. except that one is missing. It's Mine is missing its horn, and it's smaller. So now I got a bigger version with a horn. She's kind of smiling. She's like, yeah. 
And then there was this little dorky unicorn, which we'll probably donate again. This is the style I don't like. It looks like it's like been melted in acid or something. So we're probably going to take that back and donate it again. So, 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 what's next? Your mama. Oh yeah. Forgot about this, actually. So this was also in a bag. Uh, this was $2.99. And it is, and the, normally I wouldn't have purchased, but I did, because it's like a, a little um, grotto, which, you know, the, the Madonna Mary kind of is supposed to look like, um, or, you know, represent uh, female parts. Um, you know, she kind of, her overall look looks kind of like a, a vagina and, um, right. And she is inside a little And even that, that kind of, okay. that kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. And not only that. God, I hate your neighbors. I hope you all can't hear that. There's some hot rod redneck out there being an asshole. Um, but instead of, you know, just being her, there is a woman, you know, praying to her, which I, I just really liked that, you know, and typically you see Mary in blue, but she's actually in white and blue and gold and, uh, Madonna or Sophia, you know, uh, this whole, you know, mother energy thing, mm -hmm. you know whatever you want to think about her you know i just thought this this was just cute and you know the the girl with her and it's very you know divine female for me the shape everything about it so, yeah and it even kind of looks like a cave so that's good okay so next we got something else to go for uh our primitive cretan altar um which is this super awesome pottery jug okay blue it's blue and yellow and white she likes blue yeah and showing the inside yeah it's big so we are going to probably use this to put grain and um, weapons yeah we got that uh, <laughs> that trident that we bought we can put in there but since the minoans and the cretans were very into agriculture yeah, I think the grain and stuff is good. Grain and wish. wheat and corn and things like that. A big bouquet, you know. A big bouquet be, of lilies. That'd be I nice I think too. she would love that. But I don't know that this thing would exactly hold water. I think it's air-dried clay. I don't think yeah, it's glazed it, I don't think, it's I don't think you could put water fire. in it. But you could put a vase down there and then put flowers in it. That's true. But uh, I just thought this was gorge. Um <laughs> We made a beeline to it. It was just so, I don't know. I know that it's not Minoan, Minoan or primitive or whatever. It's obviously like somebody made this, yeah, you know, in pottery you class. So I like it. And I just think it's really pretty and very earthy, earthy, dirt, leather, earthy and dirty. Oh, goddess culture. Everything is uh, very <laughs> So, yeah. That's the thrift part of it. Yeah. So, we got a couple of other things. Uh, ooh, yeah, we got those. We're not including uh, some other things that we got later in the month. Yeah. Because we'll put them in next month's collective haul. But um, we're going to show you. Well, I'll show them this real quick since it's close. Well, you can show them this. Yummy, mother. So, tell where we got that from. Oh, we actually got it from Crete, didn't we? No, we're just Greece. In Greece, yeah. This is from eBay on Greece, from Greece. Look um, at her! It is... Who is it? The Minoan Snake Goddess, a.k.a. Ritamartis. A.k.a. Dictina. And I'm sure that you all have seen the symbol of the, you know, breast out snake goddess. Uh, With a kitty cat on her from head. From the goddess cultures, you know, and those beautiful, this is peaceful... Mama goddess cultures which you know it's such a bad thing um but uh i love her she's definitely my mama very um she's real brass um she's substantial uh she was not based off the listing she was not a tourist piece 
she was, you know, an actual, like... Cast. Yeah, so... Um, and apparently she was originally sold in, I think, uh, some type of museum, I think it said. Um, but anyway, um, we put in a, an offer bid. You know how you can do that on eBay where you put in an offer on something mm -hmm. rather than a bid? Um, and so me and the seller kind of went back and forth a little bit. Like, you know, I went way low and then he went like not sure. so low. And then I was just like. Mm. It almost focused on us. I know you want to. I know you want to take this bid, son, and he sure did. So there it is. She's super pretty. She's even got her little belt on uh -huh. and her flounce skirt. It looks like a net. So we will be definitely buying more Minoan Cretan uh, statues uh, since we are so into. Uh, goddess culture and uh, they were certainly one of them matriarchal societies we're excited about that so um you know and you know we're going to be doing more videos right. about that so um yeah so the next thing that we got uh, i ordered online from uh, a website which i don't know if you guys have been to before but if you haven't listen to me closely you need to go um, it's called, it's a, it's for artists to sell their stuff. Um, and they basically, the website sells them in different formats, like tapestries, throw pillows, phone cases, art prints, cards, everything. So basically you just get, uh, you put your images up there and they will sell them for you. And, um, this lady only had her... Oh, that little bird, easily distracted. Um, this lady only had this print listed as a framed print. Um, so typically I don't buy framed prints online just because it's scary and they're expensive. Uh, but the website is called... Society6. Society6. Write it down. And as soon as we're done, you guys have to go and search... Smart. Search pagan. Search goddess. Search uh, witchy. Search witch. All of those things, and you're gonna find some absolutely gorgeous. I'm a artwork. search witch. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking for a representation for my altar of um, Rhiannon as the Red Hawk, the Reaper, as I like to think of uh -huh. it. And so I finally found something that was not so like. Um, what would you say, you know, kind of like rugged, like outer masculine, yeah, outer Rondak, like hawk clutching a, you know, snake or some crapola. Hey, that's how they travel. That's mm -hmm. what. I... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen that on there, actually, Pixie. I think. I don't know for sure. But anyway, enough talk. Let me show. It is Stefani Losamito Losamitolo. Um, I will try to find the thing and put the link somewhere if you guys are interested. But look, look at the red hawk with the beautiful glowing purple spirals on her back. Look at the detail on this freaking beautiful, freaking gorgeous painting or print. Um, I just... When I saw it, I was like, uh, uh-huh, huh, like so in love with it. Mm. Oh. It's just... It's just like magical just to look at it. And yeah. it's such a high quality print. Like, I was a little scared, uh, but the frame is nice. The print is nice. I just love it so much. And I paid out the Tootsie for this because... Um, Obviously, it's a, it's a framed piece. Oh, there's the lights. Um, it's a framed piece. It, this was $36, I think. But they were having, when I, did, oh, when I got sure. this, they were having a sale. Um, and the sale was 20% off the entire online store. So it, no matter what you purchased, you got 20% off of it. And I can't remember how much I ended up paying. But... Um, I love this. 
and I found so many more sure Rhiannon artworks. Uh, uh, Britomartis is on there. Uh, Artemis is on there. Well, of course. Uh, Epona is on there. Um, Aphrodite's on there. I mean, Aphrodite. so many, so many, so many. You guys have to check that website out. Um, we're going to be placing an order again soon, uh, maybe to buy a tapestry because they have some beautiful wall tapestries. A tapestry? Why are you buying a tapestry? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, uh, we got that. Um, next is something we got uh, from an Asian market, Ooh. which I don't know um, if you guys uh, shop for herbs, you know, don't shop online. I'm telling you, do not shop online. Um, unless there's something you just can't find in person. Like Dittany of Crete. Like your. I'm telling you, online is expensive. Mm, something in this smell good. Um, but we like to go to. Um, it, it could be me. Uh, we like to go well, to me. Um, different kinds of groceries to look for herbs. Not like Kroger's or Walmart. Hellmart. Um, but look, things like uh, Mexican grocery stores. Indian um, markets. Indian markets are good. And Asian. this one was from the Asian Vietnamese market. And, and um, they had an entire like aisle. Like two aisle. Like, you know, the this side and this the whole thing of yes. herbs. Dried and herbs and teas. Oh. And they even had an aisle just for tea. Speaking of, let's start with this. Okay, so... This was, uh, they didn't have this any other way, but this is uh, hawthorn berry tea. And rather than use this as a tea, we are going to just use the herbs um, because it's a loose tea. I don't know if you can hear. Uh, but we are going to, uh, cause we don't have any hawthorn trees around us. And um, when we do, we just can't get to them without getting shot. So, uh, we definitely don't have access to anything like this currently. So we need to get us a fire thorn bush. I just had to because for some reason I've always been drawn to hawthorn trees and hawthorn berries. Even though I've never been next to one myself. Just Well, you have, but you just, you know, the that's next to the half price books in Lexington. Remember when they had those little red berries on it? Is that what that was? Yeah, it's a fire hmm. thorn. Well, there you go. Then. But um, I picked this up. I think this was three forty nine. Um, oh, okay. So I'll just tell you this because we're not going to remember the prices. I the the total from the Asian market was twenty one dollars. So everything we're going to show you that's cost including taxes twenty one dollars with tax. All right. Here's a weird one. Neither of us chew tobacco, but we got yellow chewing tobacco. Okay. So, chewing tobacco or tobacco leaves can be used in lots of different types of magics. Um, it's, you know, can be burned as like a, an offering or it can okay, be so burned right. as like a cleanse, which, you know, people think about, oh, cigarette smoke, you know, it stinks or whatever. Well, it Cigarette does. smoke stinks because cigarettes are rolled with chemicals and... and Dog crap. God knows what, um, but this ingredients is just, tobacco. That's what I like to see. You know, like we tried to discern, you know, by looking at this stuff if everything was very natural, and it seemed like it was. Ooh, now I can smell. It. Oh, it smells good. Does it? Let me see. I want to smell. I think that's it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, that definitely smells like tobacco. I think it kind of smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. It's very sweet. But yeah. I'm getting so high over here. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to definitely uh, enjoy using that. I think that was maybe like two something. Yeah. All right, here. This is a good deal right here, okay? I don't remember how much we paid for it, but I remember two fifty. I remember two fifty. Look at this giant bag of clothes. Like, it's thick. Like, I have never got clothes this cheap in my life. There is four ounces of clothes. We're back. 
You didn't think you could get rid of us like that. They're here. Carol Ann! Carol Ann! Don't go into the lot! <laughs> it's like Tangina and Taylor shrunken. Mm -hmm. okay. Shrunken Taylor. Um. But yeah. Uh, we got some giant bag of cloves. These cloves almost seem like they might have been like toasted or something. I don't know. They look a little crisp, crispy, but um, you know, uh, can't beat that for two fifty. And they, I don't know. I can't really smell them. I don't want to open them yet, but um, until we decant them, we're ready them. to put them in jars. But now here's something you can fighting. smell. Fighting, oh, fighting. this is it. No, it's it's the jasmine that I smell. Yeah. What was this one? Licorice root. Oh, yeah. Licorice root. Look at that. Get us out. Place that in a little tree on there. Look at that. Big whole freaking bag. Of three ounces of licorice root. Okay. Honey. Oh, that crinkling. Uh, ingredients. Licorice root. That's it. There's no, I mean, I don't think they would tell if there were chemicals in it, but I mean, I didn't get the feeling that these were especially disgusting or anything, but, um, you know what? Shoot. Hell no, bell. Two, two fifty. Can't smell it. I can't wait to open it. In though. the store, you could smell yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's because remember there was one open and it smelled so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is... Uh, That's what I smell, and it is delightful. This is actually what we drove there for, uh, because uh, one of our watchers who um, watches... I don't know if he wants us to mention his name, so I won't, but uh, uh, who lives in uh, Louisville told us to check out this store, and we were in the area, so we went there uh, because he found jasmine blossoms there. And... Uh, I, uh, everybody probably is tired of hearing me saying how, you know, Rhiannon is all about some jasmine, but, oh, uh, oh, uh, you just, let's open. We have to. I know, right? Jasmine is my favorite. Ooh. Ever since I was a little kid, jasmine has been my favorite. Oh, this one is a zippy. Mine's been cedar. <sighs> Gee, I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's watch a movie. <laughs> you can watch the movie. But it says brewing guide. Uh, you can combine with verbena and one tablespoon. Ooh, that would be good. Uh, into your teapot. Da -da -da -blah -blah -blah. It says you can use this to moisturize your skin and as anti aging. But. Uh, we're probably just going to use this for uh, goddess oils and offerings um, and, uh, you know. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. All right. What's next? I don't even remember what that one is. Fennel. Oh, I like that name. We got some fennel. I think I have read somewhere that this is a, an acceptable offering for a Minoan goddess. So that and coriander. So I don't know how these two are going to blend and scent because you can't smell them through the back. I think they definitely will because they're both, uh, they both have a similar kind of scent, I think. So. Yeah, we'll put that in the oil or something. Mm -hmm. Or, burn or it we can just uh, grind it up. We could. We could do like a DIY incense cone video. You can make your own incense cones. Actually, yeah, and then we could drop, put easy. some of that violet on it too. Mm. And we could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting ideas. So we, we will definitely do that. You'll have to write them down. We will definitely do that. Yeah. All right. So that is our big fat giant super freaking big booty haul um so we're gonna come back and do these once a month um with a collective haul because we don't really haul big things like this is like what four shopping trips mm -hmm. you know we really don't like you know 
always go out and like buy all you know so it's more like a collective thing so i know a lot of people uh here do that so um we're probably going to do that too and it's also so, a lot easier for us we you know we don't have to mm -hmm. edit you are so welcome pixie we love you so um yeah what time is it Brittany? Let me leave this out. We'll stay till two. Sorry. We're back. I don't think it was meant to be. Jungle Gems International Market. Ooh, yeah, we'll definitely check that out. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we're probably going to stay on till about two. So we got about ten minutes. So, um, you know... Anybody has any suggestions? Why or is that camera not focusing? It's not. It looks focused to me. It better focus on me. Um, no, actually, I don't want it to. You can stay blurry. Um, if anybody has any suggestions or anything that they would like to talk about or ask about, yeah, for sure, Rhonda. I know we need to really, like, it's, we've just been like, like I said, like we have not ventured very far at all. No, in like a while. the most adventurous thing we done was this past week was pick up an injured animal. Yeah. Who was no longer with us. Yeah. Was, Which is what we were talking about in the uh, beginning of the video. I know the weather's been crappy, and I don't know about you all. I don't. I don't like getting out and doing during. Um, well. I physically type of can't. Months. I get too cold. You know, it gets really cold and, you know, it's gray. It's kind of depressing. You know, it's like, you know, our our, uh, our goddess figure is literally dying, you know. Uh, so it, it makes sense to me, you know, that we feel this way. But, um, yeah. So, um we're super excited for spring. We have uh, so much fun stuff planned that we want to do. Um, yeah, sun is fun. Sun just came out here, not like maybe what ten minutes ago, fifteen minutes. It's been super dark in here, so we've got like two big spotlights on, and but now it's sunny, so we've got. Um, and I know you guys weren't here for this, but uh, we uh, we're going to be filming all of our February videos uh, today, so we're going to get those cashed up and um, we still got a lot. On it. We've got a lot to do, so uh, we're excited. Um, we already filmed our February planning video, which so, was short and sweet and to the point. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to be posting that. I probably will post it tonight. Excuse me. Or maybe on Monday. No, we did not see the comment about friendship. What was it? Sorry, y'all. What's the... Ah. Oh, Bella. Hey, Bella. Mm -hmm. We miss you, too. We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Yeah, what was the, what was the comment about friendship? We missed it. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't. Um, but yeah, we've been good, Bella. It's been a it's been a long, 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 long month. Well, and the other day I was just thinking, wow, this month has really blown by, and now I'm just like, oh, no, not to me. And now but we're in the doldrums. And I was, I got really sick. Brittany got sick. Or was it? I, were you in December? Weren't you? I was in December. I was, I was in January. Kinda, yeah. No. When was I yeah, sick? I think it was December for you. Yeah, because it was right before uh, yeah. Yule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I got sick. Um, and I made it through my sickness by pure stubbornness. Yeah. I got sick. Then we got like two really big snows. And so we were like cooped up at home. Didn't like, do anything. Didn't do anything. And then... Um, last weekend was the first time we got out in forever, so, you know. Well, thanks, Bella. Um, but yeah, it's been a really quiet month, um. Despite all of the happenings going mm -hmm. on. 
Okay. But uh, definitely uh, we've got our fingers crossed that February is a little bit more exciting. Oh, March really? is always exciting for us because Brittany's birthday is in March. It's spring is starting to pop up here around March. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, full moon's on my birthday. I know. It's cool. Last year I had full moon on my birthday. This year you have it on yours. Yep. Isn't that cool? Yes. I know. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. There was, you know, some really cool, you know, personal things going on for me in January. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, other than that, January has been uh, one big uh, kick in the <laughs> ass. That, so, it's been that. Um, other than that, though, like, you know, we've just been hanging out and remembering know, that. This past year, we were able to set outside in shirt sleeves in January. Right. Like, uh, no coats. So, we're paying for it this year. Oh, I know what I can tell everybody. Oh, we can do we can do the video today. About what? I got two new uh, Oracle decks. Okay. Oh, we should have put those Artemis playing cards in the hall. Oh, yeah. We'll put those in next month's hall. We'll yeah. do that. We will. We will. I still um, haven't seen them. I know. Uh, that shows you, I mean, we literally have not been able to do anything. I have just, since yesterday, been able to see that little Britta Marta statue. I know. So Everything's cute. been so crappy. I'm going to rearrange so they can set together. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, we are, uh, we'll definitely make a video about those two new decks that we got. I think um, I just had another. I, I got know. one, and I can't remember the name of it. Uh, a winged enchantment oracle. Uh, it's all about birds. And then uh, one called is it Earth Magic? Or Earth, Earth mm -hmm. Oracle or something like that. Yeah, Bella, you'll rewatch. It was it's big girl. Okay, it's a good one. Um But uh yeah 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 yeah. So we're definitely going to do a video on those. I forgot all about it. Uh, I've been using them. I haven't used the Earth Maybe I did. Earthbound Trading. Earth Origins. No, the Earth Oracle. I think it's Earth 616. Now. But anyway, we the, I have used the Winged <sighs> Enchantment, and it is my new favorite. I didn't think anything would ever replace the... Um, Animal Spirit. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's pretty good. I really like it. So I think your little first reading is what sold it for you. Yeah. We pulled some cards for us and for some friends and uh, asked for cards that represented, uh, you know, their deity or them and then the person themselves. And it was like really good, like really good answers. I mean, it was like spot on. Mm -hmm. And then we did some uh, like past, present, future readings. Birds. <laughs> just darting everywhere outside. Um they're so, coming to say hi to their mother. I know. They're coming to see her all the time. But, uh, you know, it's it's been an awesome deck. So we'll we'll do more. We'll do a whole video about that and post soon. So anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, we appreciate everybody coming to hang out with us on this uh, awesome, beautiful Day of the Goddess. Because every day is Goddess Day with us. All days at Engine Y are goddess days. The viral bird goddess, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do that and you put your... <laughs> <laughs> that should have been our thumbnail. Um, but, yeah, we will see you guys all very soon. we got um, a mask to pick up. We do. We're going to go put all this stuff away. And uh, then we're going to get cracking on some new videos. So, we appreciate you all. We love you all. Definitely, if you haven't already, connect to us on Facebook, uh, Sable and Blonde YouTube Facebook page. And then you can find our personal pages. We're on Instagram. We want to hear from you all. Love you all. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. Whatever could it be? I just want to say that Goddess is powerful and great. Beautiful, and she looks like Linda Evangelista. She's a model. Did she stone the sky? Artemis, your bow is beautiful. Whap!
Bye, y'all. Love you. Love you like cake. I don't know how to turn it off. Oh, maybe the X? Yeah, it might help. <laughs> oh, we're still there. Bye.